Uh, today we're going to show you how to remove this center console on a G37 coupe. First things first, I'm going to slide this down like that. You're going to see a little clip in here. Just open up part of the clip like that. Don't lose this clip, they'll go flying. So try and, try and tame it a little bit. And then you're going to pop this off. And what I like to do so I don't lose these clips is I just put it right back on like that. There you go. There. So it pops on like that and then you're going to want to get something narrow. And before you do before you do this, you're going to want to press on your e-brake because we're going to be putting this into neutral in order to get the top plate off. So you press down in that hole and then that will allow you to go into neutral. So there's neutral right there. All right, so pull your pick back out of there. And then we're gonna come up here, go in through the side of that plastic, just give it a little twist to get out. Same thing on this side. Go in right there, give it a little twist so you don't damage the dash. And then go like that. That's gonna expose these bottom clips right here and you'll see them pop out right now. These ones right here. So you pop those out. These break really easily. So there's that. Now we can go into the uh, shift boot. Just go along this side right here. To find out where it's, it it's all gonna come out right here. Um, some parts are gonna be like if they if somebody spilled a soda in here and it's all like sealed and gross in here It's gonna kind of sound uh, A little intimidating coming out. It's gonna sound like everything is breaking, but all this comes straight out So just go like that. I like to do all Three corners and then I'll go to the last one when I'm holding it So just hold that straight up and the reason we put it in neutral is because of right now if it was in park, we wouldn't be able to come back with this. So you just go straight up, lean this to the side like that, and we're going to see uh, four, four, uh, five plugs that we need to take off. So with the smaller plugs, I like to use a pick. I'll center the pick on the release point on the plug, and they come out just like that. So there's three, then we're going to go to the shift assembly and unplug that one. And then this one is for your cigarette lighter. These ones are kind of tricky to do. So if you look in here, it doesn't really show you where to press, but if you press right there, sorry, that popped off quick, but right here, you wouldn't think that that's a release tab, but it really, it goes in and out. So you press down on that and it will let you get the shift bezel boot off. Just like that. Um, hey, you stay up. All right, so kind of blocking all the light in here, but there's going to be two openings. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but directly under the hinge, there's going to be a little square there, and there's going to be a little square there. Put your flathead in there and just twist, and that will pop it out. It'll pop this plate out at least. Pop that out, and you got three Phillips heads. And just like that, you're able to remove your armrest. All right, so we just got done doing the uh, armrest removal. And the whole centerpiece up here, this is going to be the last item that we take out of the center console. There's this back portion right here. Um, put the flathead underneath right there and just kind of walk it back on each corner. That frees it up from there. And then there's going to be one plug back here. This one for some reason always is like 
stuck or a pain to get out. Okay, so you do that. And then it's kind of hard to see back here, but you're going to see two Phillips heads that are sitting down here. And those are always extremely tight. So don't strip the screws because it is very unfortunate to get out. I don't know why they're so tight, but I have definitely stripped them before. Once you break them loose though, it's pretty much guaranteed that you can get them out. Just the initial, the initial break part. Yeah, like this one is insanely tight. I don't know why they, how they even get so tight. And the reason, the way that I do it so that I don't strip it, is I apply a ton of pressure down on the Phillips head, and then uh, just twist it loosey, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Once we get the, the back portion out like that, we're going to move up to the front right here. Okay, so that frees up everything that holds the center console in. Okay, so this wire back here, there's a clip retainer on it. I don't know why it's there, but it's very inconvenient to deal with. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and make sure you don't cut the actual wire itself. Just cut the plastic mount like that. Uh, once you cut that, it's going to free up a lot of room to work with. You'll be able to at least kind of roll it to the side here. But don't don't pull too hard on it because you don't want you don't want to rip these wires that are under here. So you might be able to see it a little better right there. Remove that one. Sorry. And then I'm going to get a pick on this one, actually, because I can't get my finger under there. And do that. And that frees up everything right there. So, yeah, you have two, you have two plugs um, in the bottom of it right there. That, that's what I was getting out just now. They are very inconvenient to get out, but it is what it is. And that is how you remove a center console on a G37 coupe. And if you have any questions on how any of that other stuff got removed, it's all right here. And we have videos everywhere that you can watch all that.